All right, guys, welcome back. So we are currently inside the 4455, and it is April. We got ourselves hooked up to the Kinsey 3600, and we are getting corn planted into the ground. First thing I want to do is I want to apologize for the last video. So I completely forgot that I did not have my shaders on for the entire part of that video. So in this one, you guys are going to be able to see how vibrant everything looks and how crisp everything looks compared to the just the normal graphics of farming simulator but right now so i already went through and i already got the headlands all done on this field i'm just going through and i'm just going to use up the remainder of the seed and the fertilizer that is inside the planter right now and then i got a couple other things i got to get to today i do have a surprise that i got that i want to show you guys later on just something that i'm going to be demoing i'm not really 100 percent on board for buying it because i've also spent like almost twenty thousand dollars on seed and fertilizer just to be able to get corn planting done and preparing for also getting soybeans done in may i haven't thought exactly if i'm going to complete them in may because i might also finish the rest of my corn in may i might start soybeans in like june ish time but i also don't want to wait too long because if i wait too long then i have to wait longer for them to dry out which is just going to make my season run a lot later into like the winter time possible chances of getting snow on the ground and then possibly getting like frozen crops clogging up the header on the combine and then just causing a lot of issues I just don't want to deal with but for right now I'm just gonna go along I have about five and a half bushels of seed left in the planter and about 136 gallons of fertilizer left I'm gonna go until one of them runs out I'm assuming it's probably going to be my seed corn but after I get that run out or after that runs out I'm gonna drop this planter off over at the farm unhook it and i'm gonna get the tractor all washed up cleaned up so that way i can get something hooked up to it and then go through i guess i should show you guys the oats that are coming in so they're about i'd say two three inches out of the ground right now they're coming up they're all bright and green probably brighter than this tractor to be honest with you and i think they're going to be looking pretty good there are some weeds in there that i do need to take care of so there's a couple things i got to do and then as far as planning for the rest of the afternoon, so it is currently 10.51 in the morning. I went through and woke up early and got these headlands done, filled up again, and then I'm just running out right now. But I do need to plant my silage field as well because if I want corn to get, come up early just to cut it for silage or do something with that, maybe do some high moisture corn as well, I do need to get that field planted. Let's see if I can make it to the end of this row. I don't know if I will, and I'm already out. Darn. All right. I'm going to get this planter all folded up, and I'm going to get heading back to the farm real quick. I think I should be able to drive while this thing is folding up without doing anything too destructive or too funny. Yeah, I think we're good. Drive across my freshly planted rows and break all seven, seven law-abiding laws that just don't exist for some reason. But I think that one field that's all the way in the back, that smaller one, that if you guys remember from the last video that I brought up on the map, I think either that one is going to be used for silage. Oh, man. Hold on, let's just try to stay on the road here for a second. But that one might be used for silage corn, or I just might use the one that's just right up here for silage. But this one's kind of a little bit bigger. I might just want to plant soybeans there. So I got a lot to think about there on that one. All right, so right now... What we're looking at is the oats that are growing here. And then all these taller plants that are in here are all the weeds that we got to get rid of. It is the same thing over at the other fields that I planted. But right now what we have going on with this 4455 is we have a 1200 gallon Best Way Field Pro 3 hooked up to it. This is what we're demoing right now. I'm not buying it, but we're just demoing it at this time. Maybe my buy it in the future, who knows. And then what we got on the back of my high boy here is we got a pup trailer with a 2,000 gallon tank on the back of it that I went and picked up from the co-op. So that way we can use that to fill up the best way sprayer. But we get, we are going to go through in here. Looks like we got some deer out there munching on the oats already. But we're going to go in here, spray out all these weeds. I did have a little bit of issues going on with getting this sprayer hooked up. Like the controller for it was not really working too well i don't know if something's going on in the cab of my tractor but it did take us a little while to get it all hooked up but we, i think we got it operational i'm just going to go through and i'm going to test all these rolls real quick make sure that we have the proper movements this is folding the sprayer 
let's see let's unfold it here again real quick all right well anyway there we go so we're gonna get this all going try not to tear up too much of my ground here i do not have front weights on here because i'm trying to keep my ground compaction a little bit light so i don't trample out too many of these oats we're gonna go through and start spraying a lot of these weeds out of here make sure that i don't end up hitting the trees here in the corner this shouldn't take too long i think we have a 75 foot boom on here i'm already in the trees over there kind of kind of big oops might have to end up buying this anyway if i if i break it while i'm demoing we're going to keep the angle like this so i can see what i'm doing over on that side but as you guys can see it is going through killing all those weeds immediately and because this has such a far reach on it i don't see this taking too long probably get this field done because i do need to finish planting that one field i was on but we're going to get this finished out real quick see i got a big patch of weeds over there i don't know where all these weeds decided to come from because i cultivated the ground and then i went through it was probably because i put all that good uh pre-emerge in when I, when I planted all these oats i think when it comes down to it i think the next time in the future when i do do this again or i guess when i probably go to spray the other fields i have to do with herbicide I think I might take the duels off here, but because I am planning, I do not want to have the duels off. That way I have the extra traction while I'm pulling along that planter. But right now, because I'm going through on oats, I really don't want to have duels on, but because I was pressed for time and the demo was coming up at about 11, and right now it's 11.15, so I got there just in time to get to the, uh, to get to the dealership to pick up the demo. But I think right now that was like three passes. I did all my end rows, I guess. And then I went through in the middle three times. And I'll probably have to do a little bit on that side just for that little patch over there. But three times in the middle and I already did this whole field. So I don't really think I need something this big. I could go through and get a smaller sprayer. Or honestly, I could just pay somebody to do it. And it'll probably end up being a little cheaper. Because I, they charge per acre and for all the herbicide for by itself. So honestly, I'd probably be saving a little bit of money. So we got that field all knocked out pretty quick. I'm gonna probably park this over here next to the baler, so that way just in case some weather happens that it's kind of indoors a little bit or under, under a shelter of some sort. Then I'm gonna get this hook backed up to the planter. I have the Alice on the back of the planter right now because I was just using it to drive over to where the seed was so I can fill up the planter because I kind of just dropped off over there on the side. But I do honestly think that this Alice could probably go through and plant a little bit. I kind of want to give it a shot i mean it pulls it just fine and i know it i know it can unfold the planter let's uh let's get this filled up a little bit with some seed corn and i'm, I'm just gonna take it over there and give it a little little test to see what can happen i mean we're just cooking right now it's pulling this planter at 11 mile an hour it's unfolded right or it's folded up right now so we're gonna pull up over here once i get over to the field unfold it and then i'm gonna i guess just do one straight little pass i'm gonna start here on the corner and then work my way towards the house and I guess we'll see how it does. If it pulls it just fine, I might just do a pass just for the heck of it. I honestly don't think that this Alice has enough hydraulics for how however many hydraulics this planter has. Cause I think I think they only have one or two. And this planter looks like it has six hydraulics coming up here on this tongue. So we're yeah, we're not really doing that realistically, but oh well. Let's see how this goes. We got the planter down, planter's on. We are going to move forward. No way. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> I think that 4455 pulled this planter at like seven and well, this Alice is pulling it at five. honestly pretty funny um oh there we go the planter's up let's uh make our way over here i'm just gonna do one one full pass one down and back to see how this thing goes hey if it works it works i don't really need the 4455 if i got wd45 get that planter drop down and we're like we are off there we go just screaming away, choochin', got all that smoke going up there, ruining the atmosphere. That's what I like to see. I really don't want to do another pass back because this is honestly taking longer than I want it to. 
but I mean the fact that this is actually working is crazy. Give me some old guys watching this and gonna say, well back in my day when we ran WD-45 Alice Chalmers, we were pulling three bottom blows. Well, this is 2024, man. Sorry to tell you, but tractor is like 75 years old. I think they were made in, I think, it, I think they were made back in like 1949, honestly. So this, this tractor is pretty old and it's pulling a 12 row planter. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I guess props to old equipment. One stretch all the way down and we're gonna finish off this little piece right here and then I'm gonna take this this old girl back to the, back to the farm and put her up and probably need to change the oil, top it off with some fresh coolant. And I guess give it about a week off to rest because this thing's gonna be tired. It's probably gonna blow up on me the next time I go to use it. See, that was definitely a lot of fun. What I like about being able to run my own farm is I can just do some fun things like that. Like who, who in the right mind would just stick a WD-45 Alice Chalmers on a Kinsey 3600 12 row? I mean, honestly, I like to have fun with it. It makes time go by a lot faster. Plus, now I guess you could say I durability tested a WD-45 and it withstood a 12 row planter, which was kind of fun. But we do have a lot of work that we do need to get done. So all jokes and fun stuff aside, I got to finish getting this field done. I do need to give the co-op a call. I think they do want me to run a test plot or at least a couple test rows in one of my fields. So I got to set that up probably next month because I want this field to get done first. And then I'm going to start worrying about everything else, like getting soybeans done, getting the rest of my corn planted. I do need to figure out what seed I'm going to use for using silage corn. I'm probably just going to go through and use like DeKalb or probably Pioneer or something cheap. Something that I can really just expend and not really care too much about it. But when I get done, all the way done with the end of this row, I should be able to see across the railroad tracks or at least across where I'm at right now and see the other oat field that I got. I'm going to see how much weeds we got growing over there. I'm assuming it's probably about the same that was in the other field that we just got done spraying. So I'm going to plan myself after I get done with this field, I'm going to finish up spraying with my spraying my oats and then I'll probably be done for the day. I'm going to give a couple phone calls and that's all that was on my agenda.
Well, out of all the people down here in this valley, we're the first ones to get one field done, planted of corn here in April. The planter did get quite a bit of dirt on it, so I'm going to wash this thing off. And then I need to see exactly how I'm going to get this combine out of here. Because I tried starting it earlier so I could pull the tractor in here to get these duels off. But if I can't get the combine started, then I'm going to just hold off on spraying for right now on the rest of those other fields. Because honestly, like, I mean, it's just a little bit of weeds and it's in the oats. It'll be fine for right now. I can always go back into it later, hit it up, or just, like, have the co-op come down, spray it. But I need to return that best way sprayer to the dealership so that way I can not spend the extra money because I did only get the demo for today. And I honestly, I liked it, but I didn't like it enough to buy it. At right now anyway because I don't need anything that big at this moment so I think I'm just gonna keep what I have call the co-op up and then like have them come down spray my fields and then I might see what comes in the future I do need to get a little bit more money as well because I only got $32,000 right now currently in my bank um, I do need to get a loan here to continue with my operation or get my operator loan so that way I can continue to finish planning for the rest of the year. And then I guess I do have another surprise, but that's going to be in a later video. I don't know exactly when I do want to do that, but I think I know what I want to do. But that's a surprise for all you guys. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, be sure to smash that like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to Midwest Ag for more. And we will see you guys in the next one. Peace!